Hello. As you can see from my uh, title, I am done with my first round of Project Pan in six weeks. Um, so let me go over the items that I finished up, um, not including things that um, were previously finished. Um, just knew this time I finished up the Josie Marin um, Argan Cleansing Oil. Um, it does a nice job. I generally like it, but I'm not that into cleansing oils, so I wouldn't repurchase. But if you're someone who likes that extra moisture especially, that is an excellent product. I really liked it in that terms. It just it left my skin feeling oilier than I would like. It's a product of me having oily skin already and liking the feel of dry, tight skin when it's clean. I personal preference, you know. Um, I also finished up this time, let's see, my Freeman Feeling Beautiful Face Mask in Sweet Tea and Lemon. It's the Peel Away Clay Mask. Um, there's a little tiny bit left in there, but not enough to do my whole face, so I'm just throwing the rest out. This cost a few dollars, so not a big deal. Um, I do like that. I'm not fond of the smell, but um, I do like, in general, Freeman's Peel Away masks. I feel like they do just as good a job as if you get, like, Biore pore strips. Um, it, definitely, when, when I pull that off my face, I can see, like, gunk stuck to it. So I'm a big fan of their uh, peel-off masks. Uh, let's see. I also finished up this. Um, this was my... La, la, la. What did I have this as the category? Oh, I put this in my colored lip balm category, even though it's technically a lip gloss. Um, it's one of these little bonbons things, um, flavored lip gloss. It was purple and silver swirled together. I lost a lot of it trying to put it into a lipstick or a lip gloss tube, just a little mini lip gloss tube. Um, but then I used up what I didn't mess up. Um, so that one's done. I also finished up my Urban Decay Ozone Lip Liner. I could probably, if I really, really tried, get it to sharpen one more time, but it's just, it gets stuck in there, and I'm fine with calling that done. Um, also finished up my lip gloss, the Lancome's Lip Lover. Now, this one does have a little bit more in it. Not a lot. Just a little bit. But I was really sick for a little while, and I kept wearing this while I was sick. And not just the germ factor, but the fact that when I wear it, it reminds me of being sick. I'm just going to toss what little bit is left. It's not a whole lot. Um, maybe a couple more uses. Or a couple more days, I should say, rather than uses, because I apply very often. <laughs> um, what else? Is there anything else I finished this time? Uh, yes. Also, obviously, there has to be more, right? Um, I finished up the Vera Wang. I figured it out. This was the Pink Princess Limited Edition scent. Um, I did really like it. But as I said before, someone that I no longer like complimented me on it every time I wore it. And it reminded me of that person. And I didn't want to get rid of it because I do like it genuinely for myself. But don't mind seeing that one go. And then last but not least, I finished up My Cats Like to Play. Uh, this Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Scrunching Gel. I finally, I mean, this was hard to make it work because I shower at night and let my hair dry overnight. It's really thick and I hate dealing with that in the morning, plus getting up even earlier. Um, I would spray down my hair with water and then use this, and that seemed to be the best use Otherwise, it was a little too crunchy. Um, I do have some stuff left that I will be rolling over into my next uh, project, which I will film after this. 
Um, I, I rubbed off all the marks again on my e.l.f. concealer, but this is my new product. It's going pretty well, you can see. Um, not in a hurry to finish it up, but I do want to make sure that I'm using it. Um, my liquid lipstick. Oh, I didn't mark it, but it looks like it's down to about here. And that's okay because my previous mark wore off. So, oh, no, I didn't. I just couldn't see it because it was over the words. Um, oh, look at that. I can see it really easily on the camera. So it's that was my previous mark. It's about here right now. So, you know, I've got quite a bit of use left in there. But I really enjoy this. I'm just starting to get to the point where I don't want to wear it every day because it is very bold. Um, also, it's rather liquidy, so it, it I don't feel like it moves all that much, but it, uh, if I don't take care to clean off the inside, it will get on my teeth. And sometimes I'm paranoid. I'm like, oh, don't, don't open my mouth when I talk because I don't want people to see lipstick all over my teeth. So that's what happens when I wear this. So I've been kind of mixing in other lipsticks a few days instead of just powering through, which is what I usually do with my lips lip products that I'm working on um this was my the category was regret my hourglass ambient lighting palette I'm making really good progress on these two um they're at least I mean maybe a third of the product left maybe a little less than that um this one I can't make it work on me i I will probably save it um, what I've been doing is my light, my, my light, my neck is much lighter than the rest of me. So in the morning when I, I use these two as a setting powder and then after I'm done with that, I'll just do a quick swipe of this over my neck and what is that decollete? Um, just to kind of even out the color a little bit. That seems to be working for me pretty well on this one. So I, despite what I said before, will probably end up saving this. Um, some under eye product. My Becca under eye corrector. It's hard to really see progress. I can see that I'm down a little bit, but there's no way that's ever going to show up for you guys. Um, just going to keep using this. Again, it's one of those things where I don't need it to be gone. I just want to make sure I'm using it. Uh, something sparkly. My ColourPop. Woo! Uh, Super Shock Shadow and Sequin. I don't know how well you can see that because the pan is stained very heavily, but the places where it looks chunky are the only places where there's shadow left. Um, this one, when I got it, was a lot drier than the rest of them that I got in that order, and time has not been kind to it. It keeps getting drier, so every time I go to use it, I get crumblies that fall off. I've tried doing the Fix Plus uh, trick is made it a little bit softer, but I honestly don't care that much for it to be perfect. Um, next thing, my indie product, this Brigia Namaste Loose Shadow. Oh, you guys, I'm not prepared. I didn't mark anything. Um, oh, made some really nice progress this time. So you can see all my lines here. Um, they're like right on top of one another for how I was doing. Um, but I can see now, it's not picking up all that well, but it's down to about here. Um, I do use this every day. I use it to set the, I use a Maybelline color tattoo. I use it to set that and kind of make shadows blend better on top of it. It's just very nice, neutral, weedy color. And then my Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse is the foundation that I'm trying to finish. Got some nice pan going in there. Um, if I press with my brush, it moves around pretty easily. So that's kind of, it's built up a little bit in the creases here on the sides. But um, this shouldn't take too, too much longer. So those things that are left will be rolling over into my next project. As I said, I will film that video next, pull some new categories, and go pick them out. So thank you very much for watching. Um, 
As usual, if you do Project Pans and I'm not already watching you, comment down below. Um, remember to like and subscribe to this video, and I will see you again next time. Bye. Hey there, little addendum here. I realized that I forgot to show you one last product, and that is my, this was a deluxe sample, was the category of the Girl Meets Pearl uh, liquid pearl. I'm not exactly sure what this product is supposed to be, but I like it. Um, I've been mixing it with my primer. I liked it so much that I cut it open, as you can see, and stuck it in here, and there's still quite a bit left, especially when you use a tiny bit every day. So anyway, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again next time, this time for real. Bye.